BC. This is Rolene reporting. Today we're going to talk about different ways to serve the Lord, show how much we love him through praise. Now, I have a lot of different kids who have used their talents to serve the Lord in many different ways. Some of the kids are from the United States of America here with us, and we even have a group all the way in the Ukraine. So we're going to enjoy and worship all different kinds of ways with kids that are in elementary school, middle school, and high school. So we'll start with our group that is the furthest away from our home. That is the Color Music Children's Choir, all the way from Ukraine, singing You Lift Me Up. Take it away, kids. I am down and drove my soul so weary When troubles come and my heart's burden be Then I am still and wait here in the silence Until you come and see the world I really enjoyed that. Listening to those beautiful voices harmonizing with each other just shows that if we gather together, we can make a beautiful sound praising the Lord. So thank you so much to the Color Music Children's Choir for doing such an awesome job. It really touched all of our hearts. Next up, we have Jaina Brown, who is from Maryland. Now, at the time that she recorded this, Jaina was 11 years old. Jaina is now a 19-year-old public speaker and singer who loves to share about God's glory to everyone that she performs in front of. So Jaina Brown, using her talents for the Lord, will be singing, Take Me to the King. Take it away, Jaina. Next up, I am checking in with Michaela Miller, who is from Fort Worth, Texas. She's using her talents to serve the Lord by encouraging others to find their inner strength. Michaela will be reciting an original poem. Take it away, Michaela. Scream, it's like they're deaf to every word. So I ask you, do you feel this way? Yes, do you feel this way? If so, listen to me now. Listen real good. Because today, on this very night, I shall teach you how not to feel this way. All you have to do is speak loud and proud. No, not low and loud. Loud and proud. Yes, indeed. To guarantee you shall be heard and you shall be seen. Also reciting a spoken word original piece is Nick from Hialeah Gardens, Florida. Here's Nick. I'm a wordsmith. I project my words out like Martin Luther King Jr. He was a wordsmith. He crafted words with his dreams, configuring his own mind streams, but then was shot and left to rot in his own blood streams. So I am a wordsmith. The blacksmith, the spoken word, but I am unheard. My tool belt is my storage, holding my flow of words in. I write my words down because I'm a wordsmith. I bring my hammer to the ground because I'm a wordsmith. Sometimes forgotten words are found. The shocks niggle off today. Insults are washed away. But I am a wordsmith, the blacksmith of spoken word. These last two groups 
are groups that have used their talent and love for dancing to express their love and praise for the Lord. So our first group is FHBC from Miami, Florida, and they are doing a praise dance for the Lord. Take it away, girls. Mercy raining down, healing waters flowing as our lips make the Last sharing their worship dance is Thara, Leah, and Aiko from Jackson, Wyoming. Here they are. Every tribe will see your glory. Peter 4.10 says, each of you should use the gifts you have received to serve others as faithful servants of God's grace in its various forms. This verse just reminds me that God has given us all special talents. Maybe you're not the best singer or dancer, but you can find words in your heart to share with others. And maybe it's not through spoken word or poetry, but just telling others about your experiences with God, all the blessings he's given you, and how good God has been to you will really inspire others to learn about God and get to know him personally too. So all of us can serve God and praise him and touch others. So I challenge you this week to just use your talent. And even if that's just the gift of gab and storytelling, I know a little something about that. <laughs> but even if it's just telling one or two people about the blessings that God has given you, that is a perfect way to serve God. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.